The time has finally come for me to try and solo Mega Pidgeot after I'm gonna spend over 2 million Stardust to power up my Pokemon. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys! So yes, let me go to bring my screen and show you guys that there is a Mega Pidgeot over there in the distance and the reason why we have to do the raid over here, I'm literally like um, next to a playground, is because it's partly cloudy right now means rock type Pokemon are boosted so the best Pokemon to use are Shadow Rampados so yes we have to do three things to the Shadow Rampados or should I say the Shadow Cranidos now so let's go ahead to type uh, Shadow and Cranny Dos you all right so these are the four that i'm going to power up because these are the ones that i feel that the ivs are good enough and maybe in the future i'll upgrade them again um i'll show you guys this 15 15 9 um, 13, 15, 9 <clears throat> 15, 13, 9 Too many 9s uh, 15, 9, 14 Alright, those are the best ones that I've gotten so far You know, hopefully I can get uh, better ones in the future So, first thing we have to do though is to actually evolve them Alright, so that's the first thing Evolve all of them into Rampados Which we'll do so now Okay, now that I'm done evolving all my Cranidos into Rampados The next thing that we have to do is to power them up to level 50 so let's go ahead to do that, alright? I'm gonna all be maxed out to level 15 now, making sure I do not press the purified button by accident. Okay, power up Brandon. Focus, focus, do not purify them. And one more thing though, one tip I'll share with you guys which is do not ever use any shadow Pokemon to complete the power up task. You know, power up Pokemon 10 times, power up Pokemon 5 times, never ever use shadow Pokemon. So now that I've spent a total of 2.2 uh, million Stardust to power up all 4 of my Rampados up to level 50, well, the next thing that we have to do is to change name. Actually, we, we don't have to do that. I mean, we can do that later off camera. But the next thing we have to do is check the move. Smackdown rocks like great. This one, Smackdown Frustration. Not great, we have to give it a second move because we, we can't remove Frustration now. And it's going to get Outrage. That's not the right move. We're going to have to change Outrage to get rocks like great. And now Smackdown Zen Hit, but change the fast move to Smackdown. You do not need to use uh, Elite Charge DM for that. Flame Thrower, wrong move. Let's go ahead to give it a second one. Rocks like great. All right, Smackdown uh, Flame Thrower, wrong. We have to change that also okay wrong we have to change it again there we go rock slide okay great so now that it's ready rock smackdown rock slide smackdown frustration rock slide smackdown rock slide smackdown rock slide all of them power up to level 50 we are ready with our team are we yes the other two pokemon that i'll be using are actually rampados which is my level 50 rampados the non-shadow one all right already ready and the other one is diancy so diancy is going to run rock troll and rock slide but i'm going to have to mega evolve it Let's go, Mega Diane C. The thing is, since I'm going to do a solo against the Mega Pidgeot, um, I won't be able to boost myself, alright, since I won't be with anyone else. So, I just to use the Mega Diane C as a, oops, sorry, wrong. I'm supposed to tap here already. So, I wanted to show you guys the team, but I've already set the team up. Okay, I've already selected the, the right uh, Pokemon. So, let's go into a private lobby just in case anyone were to come in. So it is partly cloudy now, means my rock type Pokemon are boosted. So hopefully uh, we can do this. So yes, Shadow Rampados, Shadow Rampados with the Diancy and the Cranidos, uh, Rampados over there. What I'm going to do is also to uh, set my team another time just in case I need to re-lobby. Okay, what I'm going to do here, we're going to set it twice. So in case we need to re-lobby, we can just heal all and just like uh, Actually no, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I forgot I'm using, using one team, not two different teams. Sorry, my brain is not working. Well, let's go ahead to uh, ready up now. Okay, uh, forget about what I just did. I need to change my electric team back. Though, okay, let's go with this. So this is my first time using uh, Shadow Rampados. It's going to be pretty insane. To see the damage and also the damage being suffered. But I do hope that it does, it's not running steel wing. It's running steel wing. Oh my god, the Mega Pidgeot is running steel wing. So I hope we can still uh, um, do this properly. Okay, I just hope that it's not running some hard hitting charge move and uh, something easier. Okay, it's running brave, but that is not very good for us because uh, that's one of the toughest uh, moves to fight. Steel wing plus brave bird. But if we uh, fail to do this, then we will try it again in the future. Maybe next time, I'm not sure. Because uh, this is one of the hardest moves to actually uh, fight against Mega Pidgeot. The easiest one is actually Air Slash and Feather Dance. 
uh, which is something that I would love to face up against. And unfortunately, right now, um, we are also getting hit really hard, especially the uh, Brave. But even if we do dodge it, I don't think we will be able to survive it because uh, the Steel Wing is going to do a lot of damage to us. It's already dealing so much damage to us anyway. Steel Wing is going to do double super effective damage to our Diancy, which is quite unfortunate also. But uh, we are doing whatever we can. Hopefully, we can do it. And remember, we have to relobby. That is the problem over here. When we relobby, the red boss will actually recover its health when there's no one attacking especially since i'm doing a solo if i were to relobby no one else is in a uh, battle to, to do any damage to the pidgeot it will then recover its health all right we got uh Diancy in the house i think once my Diancy faints i probably will just bring in uh, i just, just probably relobby looking slightly promising there's a small chance that we can still uh, do this but we will see how things go. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Diancy has fainted. Let's go ahead to relobby now. Okay. I hope this works. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Otherwise, I have to re I redo it again. Okay, there we go. Okay, everyone's healed up. There we go. Come on. It's not, not lagging. Please don't lag. Come on. Please don't lag. That's not the right time to lag, bro. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got this. Please. Please, we got this. I mean, I can try and dodge the uh, Brave Bird, but it'll be pretty tough to dodge the Brave Bird also. Brave Bird's uh, attack animation is pretty short. Okay, let's go with that. A uh, small glitch over there, but you guys can see it's going to go down to uh, rate health probably after one more rock slide. Okay, I tried dodging, I tried dodging. Okay, 168 seconds, I believe they reached yellow, 167 seconds. So looking a little bit promising, looking possible. Okay, but it'll be very, very, very close, extremely close. From what I'm seeing, my heart is racing like crazy. Oh my god, imagine if we get a shiny out from this, also, it'll be so amazing. Okay, okay, we are down to uh, under 150 seconds already, but the health is left with about uh, 40 plus percent. Okay, Diane C, do your thing, Diane C, do your thing. Stop glitching, is the network here not good, man? Um, I think it's okay. It's like going up four bar, two bar, three bar, four bar, two bar, three bar. Ugh. Okay, Brave Bird comes in. We survive that. Hopefully, we can get. I don't think we can get another uh, rock slide in, but it's okay. Let's go hit the relobby one more time. I don't think we need to use the last Rampados because it's not a shadow, so it's not going to do as much damage as the shadow Rampados. So I'd rather not use it at all. So let's go, man. All right, next uh, Rampados. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop lagging. Come on, come on. Let's go, rock slide, yes, yes, yes. As long as we can land one rock slide, we are good. Okay, we can land two, it'll be even better, depending on RNG. Oh my god, did that damage go through? Oh no, that damage did not go through. The health of the or the Pidgeot uh, just went up. I just saw it. That's quite unfortunate, but it's okay. Okay, my heart is racing like crazy, come on. I tried dodging, I tried dodging. It's not easy to dodge with Smackdown, because Smackdown, the... The move is very slow, but it de deals a lot of damage, alright? You guys can see the Rock Slide is dealing so much damage to the uh, Mega Pidgeot. Come on, come on, one more Rock Slide, please. Okay, great, what Rock Slide. I hope that went through. Did the damage go through? Okay, it did. That one went through, I can see, because uh, as long as the Mega Pidgeot's health does not go up after the next Pokemon comes in, it means the damage went through. Alright, we are left with 60 seconds on the clock. Can we do it, man? Oh my god, this is going to be super close. Okay, okay. Oh my god, my heart is racing like crazy. Come on, come on, come on, Brandon, you got this. Come on, uh, Rock-type Mons, you got this. <laughs> yes, Rampados and Mega Diancy, you got this. Yes, come on, one more Rock-type, please, please. Oh, we did not get the rock slide in, but it's okay, we got the last Rampados. Come in, come on, come on, come on. I mean, we should survive a Brave Bird, right? Yeah, I mean, because it's not a shadow and we did not get hit by the, the Steel Wings or so. We took it down, wow. Okay, my first ever solo on Mega Pidgeot. I'm actually very happy that I successfully uh, did this. The last time I did try doing a solo against it using electric type Pokemon, but I failed to do it. Now we finally have a Shadow Rampados. Boom! You know, a huge upgrade from what I used to have. Okay, man. Wow, let's see how long we took to take it down. 4 minutes and 27 seconds, I will take it. I mean, if we upgrade our team one more by, you know, one more Shadow Rampados, we definitely can take it down slightly faster, but it's not shiny. It's okay. Okay, we will hit one excellent on it. Boom, there we go. But that is it, man, in terms of how I was able to use 
the Shadow Rampados together with Mega Diancy to solo the Mega Pidgeot. It's been a fun one, definitely. It's been something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time and finally I'm able to complete this challenge. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video a bit interesting and a bit exciting also for yourselves. I understand that Mega P Pokemon, they are very hard to take on, especially uh, since they actually have a lot of hit points and they hit really, really hard. Uh, Pidgeot is one of them that is very hard to actually solo because uh, you need the right condition, you also need the right Pokemon and it's a very tanky mob. Pokemon too. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, Mega Pidgeot. Uh, we will see you again soon. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.